Well, no end in sight to the bloodshed on Baltimore streets. 59 people already murdered so far this year. The latest, a 70-year-old woman. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Denise Koch. Welcome to WJZ News at 5. And to those of you streaming us tonight, there is a new reward tonight in the murder of that 70-year-old woman, Linda Dennis. It is just heartbreaking. She's one of the latest victims of violence in Baltimore. And today, police also arrested a 14-year-old, 14 years old, in another killing. And WJZ investigator Mike Helgren has it covered for us. He is live at City Police Headquarters with the latest How to Put This Into Perspective. Mike. Denise, Rick, a lot of people are fed up with the ongoing violence in our city. I can tell you homicides are up 31% over this time last year. Non-fatal shootings are up 27% over this time last year. And the violence is touching every part of our community. There's now an $8,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest in the killing of 70-year-old Linda Dennis. Her home near Pimlico was riddled with bullets, and she was found dead outside Thursday. Just hours later, police found 50-year-old Monique Billinger shot dead in the 1300 block of Mount Street in West Baltimore. Tributes to Billinger have poured in on social media, and friends tell me she was a loving, caring woman, and they can't believe she's gone. Among them, Bernard Morgan, who coaches at Ben Franklin and Reginald F. Lewis. I know that she loved the same. I know that she loved going to church. She was a really good person, though, and it, you know it was a real tragic that it happened, and she didn't deserve to, you know, die like that. Morgan posted on Facebook that he was at a loss for words. The two used to sing together on the Douglas High Choir. I just pray for our family, and um, you know, and I know she up there singing in heaven now. So I'm, I'm, you know, it, it just, I really don't have no answer for. I'm still kind of surprised, uh, still lost for words. But I know she loved music. I love music. So when I'm singing, you know, I'll be thinking of her sometime. City police also announced they arrested a 14-year-old and a 16-year-old for the killing of 21-year-old Ronald Boone. He was shot dead in early February in northeast Baltimore. We have to be better in every facet, and we will do that. We will make adjustments. We'll make changes, just as every city across the country who is dealing with a rise in violence is, is doing. We all have to make adjustments to that change, but we also have to live in the realm of reality to know that there are people out here who just simply don't care. Uh, Governor Larry Hogan has also weighed in on the killing of 70-year-old Linda Dennis. He says it is outrageous and heartbreaking and that the violence has reached a tipping point in Baltimore. He also said that uh, they are matching the reward money for information leading to an arrest. Reporting live at City Police Headquarters, Mike Halgren, WJZ.